Hello YouTubers, Bill Griffith back again. <clears throat> In this video I wanted to show you how to uh, tighten up the security of a vanilla Linux uh, on uh, IBM Cloud. Um, uh, this isn't uh, uh, comprehensive security hardening, but a few tips that I take when I spin up a new uh, virtual server instance uh, using a Linux operating system. Um, I do this with my classic VSIs, you can do this with VPC as well. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the catalog and I'm going to go to compute and I'm going to choose virtual server and this is the classic virtual server uh, we obviously um, I, IBM uh, also has uh, VPCs uh, but I'm just going to use the defaults hourly and I'm going to choose let's say Tokyo and I'm just going to go with the smallest little server here three cents an hour and then uh, use CentOS and now this little field is key this user data. What this does is this allows you to upload a cloud init initialization script that I'm going to use to harden the server. I'm going to prevent SSH logins from the root user and I'm also going to prevent SU uh, login over as uh, to the root user. So only myself, I'm going to create my own user and then uh, only I can log into this machine. So let me show you how that's done. So the first thing I need to do is get my public key. So to do that, I'm going to uh, create, uh, run the command SSH. This is from my Mac, uh, key gen. And it's asking where I want to save things. And I say, that's fine. Enter passphrase. I don't need a passphrase. I'm going to accept the defaults, accept the defaults. And now I got a public key. So now if I ls my home directory, you'll see there's my key. So now if I cat, my ssh id dot pub that's my public key so i'm going to copy this public key and i'm going to paste it in up here okay before i do that here are the uh, steps to get your cloud init now this cloud init script is very finicky so you need to make sure that the spacing and, and whatnot is very precise it needs to start with cloud uh, config i'm going to create a user called w griffith and then here's my key. So now, like I said, over here, I'm going to copy this key. Copy to there. I'm going to paste that in. Now that's going to create my key. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this user has a sudo rights, which is to uh, uh, jump into the admin user. So that's what this command does. But that needs to be spaced over to. And the spacing is very important. Okay, so this says give the user W Griffith no password access to run all sudo commands. <clears throat> now the next thing I'm going to do is this says append to the end of the file the allow users W Griffith to the SSH daemon config file. <clears throat> also within that SSH file uh, config file I'm going to disallow root login. That's what this does. And then finally, I'm going to change the root login's shell from bash to no login. That prevents anybody from logging in to root, meaning all commands have to go through the sudo, which gives me a record of it. And then I restart uh, SSH. So I'll just leave all the other defaults, accept the terms, and I create. Okay, so a few minutes later, <coughs> you see that the server is up. Okay, so <coughs> with my IP address, I'm going to SSH to that user I created in my user config user data field. Paste in that. Voila! I'm in this new server. And I can check that the password, you'll see that this user got created for me on initialization. And you'll see that the root login got disabled. In fact, if I use a su dash to root, and go over here to the password, show my password, copy that, go over here, paste it, you'll see that's disallowed. So there you have it. One way to tighten up the security of your uh, CentOS, Red Hat, uh, Linux servers, etc., uh, to prevent SSH login except by named users, uh, and then prevent root login uh, so that you have to go through the the sudo command where you get a good record and then you can be very granular with that sudo and permit only certain commands if you like. Thanks for watching.